How was practice today? Practice, practice was good. Practice was good. Uh, the tempo is increasing, and, and guys are in shape. So we're starting to see guys move a little faster, and, and we've had a lot of reps. So the reaction time is quicker. So it's starting to look, it's, starting, it's moving in the right direction. When do you guys think you'll have your next scrimmage or more vigorous practice? You know, I'm not sure. Sometime, I would assume sometime mid next week. I saw in the practice notes today that both Defoe and Balducci had two sacks today. How much stock can you put in that, though, even though it's still pretty early and you still got two weeks before season? You know, we, we put a lot of stock in, in the plays the guys are making now because at this point, you know, we, we've seen the offense a lot, they've seen us, and the sacks have been made because we're executing correct technique. So we put a lot of stock, stock in that. How important is it for this front seven to be strong, especially with a, a young secondary and guys still trying to rotate through that? You know, the entire defense has to continue to grow. So it's, it's, it's important for the front, but the guys in the secondary are doing a nice job. So it, it's all coming. The whole defensive unit is starting to gel. Starting to in what aspect do you say you guys have improved the most as a defense since fall camp began? You know, our understanding of the entire package and our understanding of what what the offense is trying to execute against us. And we are we are markedly ahead of where we were as, as an entire defense in terms of understanding what's going on. Is there anything for you that for you adjusted heading into this fall camp as opposed to last year to that has maybe led to the defense being a little bit ahead of your guys' minds? You know we we believe that the reason that we're farther ahead is this it's our second year in the system. The kids ran in the spring and they, they kind of work in the summer. And now we're, we're kind of reinstalling. So they're very familiar with, with all the changes and tweaks we made. So I think that's a big part of why we're suddenly starting to look a little different. Coach, when does the install phase stop and the game preparation begin for you guys? You know, for us, we have, you know, we're, we're about 90% on defense, roughly 90% installed. So now it's, it's, it's uh, kind of refining what we're doing and then looking toward the first game and to the special things we're going to do for that uh, specific team. About the linebacker group as a, as a position, you have part of that responsibility in addition to the DC coordinator. What do you see out of the group? What do you see is maybe who's making a big step forward this fall? I think the linebacker group right now is executing at a very high, uh, high level. You know, French, the outside guys, French to Rodney and, and Tyson, those guys are, are playing extremely well. Um, and then on the inside, we're getting kind of the same thing. You know, uh, Joe and Rodney and Danny and now Jimmy and, and Paris looks pretty good and Johnny Rigg. I mean, we have a lot of characters. You know, right? you know, we still got to sell on who's first, second, third, and fourth, but we have a lot of characters and, and they're all doing a lot of nice things. With the depth that that group brings you, does that let you kind of roll the dice a little bit, maybe take a few more chances here and there? I don't understand the question. Uh, you just Can you do more things with that group uh, knowing that they're, you can count on them? Yeah, you know, we should be able to, you know, what we have done, because we're a little more experienced in the front, we've installed more and we've given them more and they've, they've, they've taken it and soaked it all up. So from that standpoint, we are able to do a little more. Coach, talked about Paris Bostic. Uh, is he going to play inside or outside, or is there a possibility that we play both inside and outside the system? We're still evaluating the, the newer players. You know, a guy like Paris flashes, you know, he, he probably could play both. You know, we have to look at our depth chart in a couple of days and see what's the best position for him. But, you know, he's flashed at times, so you know, he's going to help us someplace, and he's also a terrific special teams player. Are you going to rotate through the line? You know, you've years past, you said, but how much does a guy like Rodney, you kind of know he's been through the past third season to start, like, how much does that guy make a difference for you? You know, Rodney Harvick is unreal. If I had a coaching job open, then whenever the season's over, I'd hire about that guy. Because he, he can do it all. And the thing is, what we have to do with him is we can't kill a guy. So we still have to rotate. But Joe is doing a great job, and Tyson and the French have kicked in. So I think we're going to have a really good rotation with great leadership and guys that can understand and make those those decisions on plays that we haven't seen, but again, anticipate it and get the other guys ready for it. So we feel really good about all those guys. Is there a thing you want him to do a little better this year and improve on Rodney? Yeah. Nothing really specific to Rodney. It's specific to the entire defense. It's better leverage and better tackle early, and better communication early. And we kept growing the defense last year and growing and growing and this year we need to start faster and then get that process moving faster so we can get better. Have any of the uh, young players in the secondary really uh, separated themselves this year? 
You know, I don't think any, any of the secondary guys have separated themselves this week, but but I think as a group they're playing pretty well. I think they're playing better. I shouldn't say better. I think we're happy with where they are as a group. Uh, and I think if they continue to progress, we're not going to be saying young guys in three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, we're going to go into secondary as opposed to now we're, we keep prefacing them as young guys because they are. Coach, what have your impressions of Canton Conway Tule been so far into fall camp, and how has he kind of evolved as a player since spring? Our, 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 our D line is, is really deep and very talented. And Canton's been terrific. All those guys in front have really improved. So I'm, the big thing is we're excited to actually get through camp, game plan for a specific opponent, and then get on the field and see what we can really do. But Canton's been wonderful. Is there a time when you're going to realize I'm going to redshirt certain guys along the D-line, or when, when will that kind of process take place? A guy like Rex Manu or, or Cumberland or, Car or Carl Bird, someone like that? Yeah, normally the decisions to redshirt or not redshirt occur toward the end of this week or toward the end of next week. Next week. We have a second scrimmage. You know, the first scrimmage was who's going to fly around and hit people. The second scrimmage is, okay, who can retain and execute? And then we have to sit down and make those tough decisions. Thank Where have you seen Johnny Reagan improve over the course of his career as well? Uh, Johnny's improved his knowledge tremendously. And Johnny's a friendly, gifted athlete. He can run. Johnny probably could help us in the secondary. He can help us with the rest of the passer. And now we, we have a linebacker that's the best position for the team. But he's increased his knowledge. And now he, there's been some times he's out there and the other guys tell him what to do. He can run around and help us. Now he knows what to do. So we expect him to be a great thing for him. Thank you, guys.